State Attorney General B Buddy Caldwell says he's hiring high-priced outside lawyers on major cases. Some of them gave him big bucks to his election campaigns. Some are getting contracts that could violate the Constitution. And one was accused of falling asleep in court. David Hammer has more in this eyewitness investigation. Alan Canner is getting $600 an hour to lead an all-star team of outside lawyers in the state's lawsuit against BP. And Attorney General Buddy Caldwell says the state's getting him cheap. I am really lucky to get Alan Canner is one of the best, if not the very best, oil and gas environmental attorney on the North American continent. And he is respected as such. And when you get somebody of that caliber for $600 an hour, Jesus. But Melissa Landry, a lawsuit watchdog, looked through transcripts from the BP trial and she found this. At one point, um, the court says, wait one second, would somebody tap Mr. Kaner and wake him up? Mr. Kaner, are you awake? And he responds, yes, Your Honor. The court asks, did you get enough sleep last night? If you need to get up and walk and get some air, you can do it, but please, we need you to stay awake, okay? Mr. Kaner says, yes, sir. Shocked? Well, Buddy Caldwell wasn't. But are you concerned that Mr. Kaner was sleeping and making $600 an hour? No, no, not concerned at all, because he couldn't have slept for over 30 seconds, and the judge is sleeping part of that time, too, so. The federal judge he's talking about, Carl Barbier, has been critical of the state's legal team and the way Caldwell is paying them. And I know you feel really confident in your team, but are you concerned when the judge says that the team has obstructed and frustrated the legal process? I mean, yeah, that, that, that's, uh, that, that's legal speak. I don't pay any attention to that. Caldwell says that in cases like the BP trial, he's got to pay top dollar in order to compete against the highest priced corporate defense attorneys. What we don't want to do is give these uh, pharmaceutical giants and these other big, huge companies uh, the advantage just to outlaw you, you to put a, for you to put a 20 pound uh, lightweight in the ring with a 200 pounder. Now, no matter what you might think about Canner allegedly falling asleep or the way that Caldwell's team has handled the BP case, there's a bigger issue here than just hourly pay. And that's the big money, no bid contracts Caldwell gives out to outside lawyers. The Attorney General is contracting out much of the state's legal business to a small group of politically connected uh, trial lawyers. Uh, many of those individuals are, are campaign contributors. For instance, he used a no-bid process to select the firm of his campaign chief, Alan Usry, 11 times. Usry's family and friends donated more than $100,000 to Caldwell's campaign. His campaign treasurer, Wade Shows, also got multiple contracts. And 11 other firms who combined to give another $100,000 also got contracts. I, I just got to do things my way. I'm, I'm from a small town and you got to know people and you know if you've had some kind of contact with them, whether they got a certain skill set. And to say that there are only a handful of people that I know and trust uh, is really, that's an unacceptable answer and any reform would begin with the notion of public bidding for these types of services. Are you saying this is a gravy train for his buddies? They are giving him money. Uh, they are making fees. Uh, I don't think it's a very difficult conclusion to reach. So you maybe know. I have three or four of these firms that have given me some money. Maybe it's 15. I don't know. 13. I uh -huh. count. Okay. But that's 13 out of seven or 800 lawyers. The big question is, how are these firms getting paid? Some of them are being paid hourly, but others are being paid as a percentage of the damages awarded to the state. Landry believes these types of contracts are unconstitutional contingency fees. Caldwell vehemently disagrees. So I've never let a contingency fee. They don't, my attorneys do not get any percentage, a zero percentage of the state's recovery. Zero, nothing. So where, where Any money they, they get, they negotiate at, outside, after I decide how much money the state's getting. Caldwell says that, but this document shows even the state's own contract office called it a contingency fee. 
And Caldwell wasn't against the idea when he tried to get the state legislature to approve contingency fees for the BP trial. But twice, lawmakers rejected that. So here's Caldwell's dilemma. Loyola law professor Dane Cialino says Caldwell's got a constitutional and an ethics issue of how his lawyers get paid. If he gives them a percentage of the state's award, it's unconstitutional. If he lets the attorneys negotiate their fees, it's unethical. I cannot see where there's an ethics problem, and particularly where you have a statute that grant you the right to get attorney's fees. That, that means it's legal to do it. They're trying to make it work despite the significant limitations imposed by the ethics laws and by the Louisiana Constitution. And what about Buddy Caldwell's statement that it's okay for $600 an hour attorney Alan Canner to sleep during the BP trial because the judge in the case, Carl Barbier, was also sleeping. Barbier's assistant, Hope McDonald, gave us this statement in response. Judge Barbier will not respond to the comments from Attorney General Caldwell, who was not present at the trial after the first day. However, the judge invites you to talk to the other attorneys who were there every day during the entire two-month trial. David Hammer, Eyewitness News. Caldwell says his style of hiring outside lawyers saves the state millions of dollars. The law firms have to pay all of the expenses of litigating, and if they lose the case, the state pays them nothing.